I enjoy interacting with all of our fans and, and I'm never surprised they share the same passion I share for our players and for our organization. Every week, at least one of the days, we set up a tailgate in the morning before our game. The whole purpose of our tailgate is to grow our fan base. We want to just show that we're connected to the fan base and that we care about our fans. We have snapbacks, we have beanies, we have plushy dolls, we have limited edition posters that signed by our players themselves. We're all out here to have a good time. We're all out here to support our players, our teams. You came all the way from Dallas. Oh, you, you, that trip alone was worth the hype, bro. Really? That sure was, man. man. I called up work to do all this. I and mean, the fact that I get to see all my favorite players live, it's going to be great. I'm from Denmark and I love Ego Pucks. Yeah! yeah. It would be amazing to come here versus sitting at home watching the game because you're, you're here and you actually get to meet people like Rick Fox. You get to meet our players. They're all here all the time. It's just fun to come out and actually enjoy this and actually support your team. Once you come and see it live, you never want to watch it on stream again. And I just love seeing the org grow from nothing to like being the number one team in the LCS right now. I mean, it just feels overwhelming that, you know, people are coming to watch us play and it's, you know, it's, it's really nice to have them support. <laughs> I think from a player standpoint, having fans is, there's nothing better. You essentially play the sport for your fans. To be able to give your gift to the people around the world and in the arenas big time. I like Echo Fox. I like the organization. I like the players. I like the coaches, the owners, the people. It's so united. It feels like a family, really. It's week seven, we're playing against Optic and Golden Guardians this weekend. They didn't win a game in their first three weeks, and then their last three weeks, they've actually been three and three, so we have to play our game and stay disciplined. This is kind of the week to really help us secure the first or second seed. Now Golden Guardians versus Echo Fox. Let's get game four underway. Going into it, they abused our bot lane pretty hard. Baby. Oh, last down, and so is Alltech. While things weren't going the best bottom lane, Phoenix actually ended up picking up two kills in the top lane, where we had a three for one trade. Nice! 12 minutes in, the ball took that. He didn't even use it. The Golden Guardians are actually making Echo Fox look silly right now. They got a pretty big lead. They have duck three members of Golden Guardians bounce them into the wall as the bounce house goes from Phoenix, and now they're on to high. They fought back, but they, they were able to close it out. From coast to coast, start to finish, Golden Guardians take down the number one team in the league. The team took the loss hard yesterday. Probably the hardest loss we've we've had to take. It's kind of nice after a loss. You, you go on Dardock's Twitter, you go on Reddit. All of these fans are supporting us online. I feel it's really good that like people still support me even though we have rough games and like even when I'm down, people still support me. Like Greg came on the stage and hugged me, and it felt really good like that. Like. He still believes in us and that we're just learning. Like We can easily come back and then we're just going to be stronger for playoffs. Yesterday was just one bad match. That's not who we are. Well, it's especially for the players, it's great in moments like today, unfortunately. Uh, not every day is a win. Uh, and when that love is unconditional, it's great to be lifted in moments like this. When you fall a little short, uh, they remind you quickly of how much they love you and how, and how good you actually still are. Echo Fox were trying to recover from a loss yesterday. I don't think we had a really good early game. Dardock died early. But it's got nothing left to go, and first blood to Bowie. We got a lazy and showed a lot of really bad form. Adrian is going to fall down to power of evil. Hooney is not healthy enough to survive this. He gets rooted and taken down by the Cassiopeia. Definitely makes us try a bit harder on stage for sure when we see the crowd is like really supporting us. Kadian gonna try and kick him out of the oh, way! No. But Dara moves back in! Takes the Baron and Kadian makes a huge mistake! Oh. Little dicey, but Echo Fox come out on top. 
Anything we do wouldn't be possible without our fans. They make this all possible. We wouldn't be here as pro players. We wouldn't be competitive gamers if there was no fans to support us. I think everything we do, we owe it to them. I really celebrate excellence in every field, but I really admire uh, what these guys do. And now, I get to be a fan. The number one Echo Fox fan is absolutely Rick Fox. I mean, Rick's definitely the biggest fan. If something goes right, he's the first one cheering. If something goes wrong, he's the first one sitting with his head down. He's the most animated. He's standing up, he's yelling, hands up in the air. I don't sit anywhere near him because his arms are flailing and he's punching and he's cheering. So I always try to sit a couple feet away from him so I don't get punched in the head. He's always there supporting our players through wins, through losses. He's here every game. And I think he kind of drives the whole organization in his passion. Watching Echo Fox come towards a victory every single time, we're on our feet. And the whole crowd goes absolutely insane. And if we're doing really well, you know, we can hear it. And I just hope there's nothing but success for them going forward. Everyone loves us, and like, I think they'll continue to love us. So, yeah, I love all my fans.